Welcome to Sphere. I am Price Time, and you're watching Sphere TV. When it comes to Uniswap V3, liquidity providers must set a specific price range for their liquidity in order to earn swap fees from swap volume. In my most recent video, I talked about how active liquidity management for Uniswap V3 is the process of regularly rebalancing LPs to reset liquidity within the active price range to maximize fee revenue for liquidity providers. And how this Uniswap V3 optimization and automation will become readily available for all users with the launch of Dyson. One of the key aspects of Uniswap V3 liquidity management that I did not yet mention is the fee structure for swaps. Naturally, this is important because the higher the swap fee, the more revenue for liquidity providers when considering the same swap volume. Uniswap V3 has four main fee tiers, 0.01%, 0.05%, 0 0.3%, and 1%. You may also see these described as 1 BPS, 5 BPS, 30 BPS, and 100 BPS. BPS simply stands for basis points. A basis point is equivalent to 0.01% and is a common financial measurement when considering fee structures even within the traditional finance world. So if a swap was performed using $1,000 of USDC with a 1 BPS or basis point fee, the fee would be 0.01% times 1,000 or 10 cents. Now you may be thinking, well, if a 1% fee would make liquidity providers more money, why not just set that as the fee structure for all swaps? The answer is that there has to be a balance between the cost that swappers are willing to pay for a swap in order to preserve their capital and the fee revenue that liquidity providers will need in order to overcome any impermanent loss. Impermanent loss is the value difference between providing liquidity with two assets versus simply holding those two assets separately in a wallet. When two assets move together in price, the impermanent loss is low. But when two assets do not move together in price, the impermanent loss is high. Remember too that more liquidity means less slippage, means more capital preservation for swappers regardless of fee tier. So there has to be a balance such that swappers pay the lowest fee tier while still incentivizing the highest possible liquidity from liquidity providers. This is why these different fee tiers exist within Uniswap V3. For assets whose prices can be reasonably expected to match one another, as is the case for stable pairs, the impermanent loss can be expected to be low. For that reason, Swappers and liquidity providers typically agree on the lower fee tiers. Swappers benefit from low fees, and liquidity providers benefit from minimal to no impermanent loss. Lower fee tiers can also be agreed upon by swappers and liquidity providers for blue chip assets with high liquidity. In a recent sneak peek at Dyson, we saw the USDC WETH LP vault with a BPS of 5. Again, this means that for every swap where the vault's liquidity is used, there is a 0.05% fee that is collected in USDC and WETH, which, thanks to Dyson, is then automatically compounded and rebalanced into the active swap price range, all on chain. So, for example, if a user swaps $1,000 worth of WETH for USDC, at a fee tier of 5 basis points, the fee would be 0.05% times 1,000 or 50 cents. For assets with higher impermanent loss or less robust liquidity, swappers and liquidity providers may agree on a higher fee tier of 30 basis points. This comes at a higher cost to swappers, but provides more fee revenue and incentive for liquidity providers as a means of overcoming that impermanent loss. The highest fee tier at 100 basis points or 1% is intended for assets that are considered more exotic, are traded less frequently, or are expected to have very high impermanent loss. 
Again, this is to help give swappers access to these assets while still allowing liquidity providers to earn sufficient fee revenue in order to overcome impermanent loss. It's important to note that these fee tiers are not mutually exclusive, meaning that each token pair can have a liquidity pool for each fee tier. However, asset pairs will gravitate towards specific fee tiers based on where the incentives for both swappers and liquidity providers most closely align. As you can see, there are a lot of nuances as to why these different fee tiers exist, and each fee tier serves a specific purpose within Uniswap v3 for swappers and liquidity providers. And of course, as mentioned before, Dyson will include vaults for Uniswap v3 for liquidity providers using these fee tiers. In addition, Dyson will automatically rebalance the LP to be within the active fee range and will automatically compound fee revenue back into the LP, maximizing real yield for liquidity providers. Visit us on Discord to stay up to date on announcements and join our community. This video and channel is for educational purposes only and is not financial advice. Thanks for watching and always remember that you matter for who you are.